so often when you're creating a class and you use the has of uh, relationship, you might say, uh, for example, a person has a name or a person has an address or a person has a date of birth. Well, if you think about it, an address, a name, or a date of birth are comprised of other fields. Um, are comprised of other fields. And that's an example of composition. So a composition or a composite class is a class that contains one or more fields that come from a different user-defined class. Here's the example of the date. So a date class could have month, day, year, maybe more, an address, uh, could consist of a street number, name, type, city, state, zip, maybe more. And a name could be the first name, middle, initial, last name, and maybe suffix or junior, senior, and so on. So as I said, a person has a name, a person has a date of birth, and a person has an address. So a person would have these type of composite fields. So the name field would come from the name class. The birth date field would come from the uh, date class and the address field would come from the address class. So when you're creating a, uh, calling a constructor in a class that contains composite, composite fields, it looks a little bit different. And in addition to that, same thing with the two strings. So let's take a look at a little bit of code. So keeping it simple, I just have a test class, a name class, and a person class. So here's my person class, and here is the composite field. Name is of data type name, which is this class up here. Gender is just a regular char. So let's take a look at a name. What is a name? A name is a string, first name, a char, middle initial, and a string, last name. So uh, notice this name class is not a composite class. So back to person. So in person, when I go to make a new person, if I use the full arg constructor, it looks like this. Name, name, char, gender. Well, this is a primitive, so this gender is a string, but notice this name has to be an object. So where does this object come from? So I could, right about here, create an object name, then ask for the field values, first name, last name, uh, middle initial, and then I could pass that object here. But it doesn't make sense to do that because if I'm going to be populating a name, I should be doing that in a name class. So notice what I do in person. In my no arg constructor, I call a method called make person, which is down here. Because the belong make person belongs in the person class. So down here, the first thing I do in make person is I'm going to set the name of the person by calling the constructor in the no R constructor a name. Notice new creates an object. So that's going to be returning an object right here in my set name method. And my set name method is going to set this name here in this object. So let's go into main and see what happens when I call its constructor. Well, the first thing in my no R constructor in main right here calls a method called get name, which down lives in the main class, in the name class. Down here, all I do using J option pane is I prompt for the first name, middle initial, last name. When I'm done, I use the setters to set the field values in the class name. Let's go back to person. So when I call make a person, which is down here, my make a person gets the name right here, and then because this is not a composite class, it has to populate the gender manually. Uh, and then once it's done, it sets the gender field. Here's my two string inside of my person. Notice the first thing my two string does inside of my person is it refers to the two string in name. So this is my tying the two strings together. So let's take a look at the two string in name. And the two string in name simply formats my name. First name, middle initial, period, last name. I will tell you, if you have some issues there, what happens if, for example, there is no middle initial? What are you going to do? Just leave a space and a period? But nonetheless, uh, for this example, I think that's good enough. So I'm going to run this. Watch what happens. 
So this is from person calling name. So this is actually coming from the name class. What is your name? I'll call it Fred. Middle initial, let's just pretend like there's an F. So there's my buddy Fred Flintstone, and let's say he's a male. What does that look like when it calls the two string in this code? Let's pull it up. Fred Flintstone, Fred F. Flintstone, gender male. Um, so back in my PowerPoint, as you can see, uh, kind of now as we look ahead, what does the two string look like? Uh, and so on. So I'll, I'll finish this with a quick summary. So a composite class is a class that contains one or more composite fields. The constructor of the class with the composite field must address the fact that it needs an object of the composite field type. It must tie you two strings together and then each of your classes must be self-contained encapsulated units. So whatever uh, behaviors that happen to a field in a class, you should uh, address those behaviors with methods inside of that class. Okay, that's it. See you next time.